You're the landlord? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what kind of property is this? It's a two-lot place with an uh, extra building on the other lot, which is the place that Mike is inhabiting. And your last name, sir? Tulson. Mr. Tulson, does Mr. Morrison ever do any work for you? He does from time to time. Okay, what kind of work does Mr. Morrison do for you? Uh, he helps kind of take care of the property and exchange Okay, so he does maintain the property? From time to time, yes. Well, from time to time, you pay him on an ad hoc basis? You'll call and say, would you please clean up the premises? Or uh, no, does he, he do it regularly? Do you pay him a monthly salary? Come on, come on, guys. If you're getting the idea that I'm not crazy about this case, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Absolutely, you're right. Good. I'm very glad you understand. To be perfectly honest. I don't want you to be anything but perfectly honest, sir. I don't want you to be dishonest. That would be a very dumb thing for you to do. The bolt cover has very little to do with this. There's been interactions between the two. I don't care. Okay. Then let to me, answer your let question. me explain something to you. This is the beginning of my day. I don't plan on starting the beginning of my day with nonsense. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Then let's get this case moving. Okay. Mr. Shepard says that Mr. Morrison, on a date certain, which was what date? It was around August 10. Around, because you don't know exactly. For some strange reason, disposed of your boat cover. Mr. Morrison says that he maintained the property, which you acknowledge, and that he says this was a torn up old moldy thing, but it was on Mr. Shepard's premises. That's correct. Correct. Right. And he says that he disposed of it because you asked him to clean up the property. Did you ask him to? clean up the property on or about August 10th? That's a very misleading question. I never asked him to clean up the property. Great. Now, Mr. Morrison, then I come back to you, sir. Yes, Your Honor. You actually were on the plaintiff's property because that's where the tarp, let's call it a tarp slash cover, was located. That's correct. Right. Did you, prior to disposing of the cover, did you ask Mr. Shepard whether this was his and did he want it disposed of? The answer is either yes or no. Can you repeat the question? Very easy. I'll try to simplify it. On or about August 10th, did you ask Mr. Shepard that this item that was on his property was something he didn't want to keep and he wanted it disposed of? No, I didn't show. Okay. Well, then, Mr. Morrison, this is a very easy case. You cannot go on someone else's property who was renting the property and dispose of that property without asking them. The fact that, put your hand down, the fact that you claim that the witness asked you to dispose of it does not contra hey! doesn't contradict that. Because I, I assume Mr. Shepard is a paying tenant, which means he has exclusive occupancy. Get out. Out. What you didn't understand. Out! to go that way. Now, you have to ask before you go on somebody's property and dispose of anything. I understand. Anything, a loaf of bread, a weed, anything. Because, you know, there's an old expression, one man's trash is another man's treasure. 